I'm so happy to be here. I've had an amazing year with comedy. I went on a three-month international tour this year. <laughs> we did two shows in Canada, but I call it international. <laughs> it's fine, right? I went with this podcast called Bad Friends. Uh, it's with Bobby Lee and Andrew Santino. Yeah. Also, uh, before I get too far into this, nobody walk up here. I just dropped some names. <laughs> But yeah, I joined their podcast. <laughs> I'm the opener on it. All right, and on it, on my first episode, they gave me this nickname. The nickname is Juicy. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> and now I'm opening these shows in these theaters and thousands of people I walk out and they go, Juicy! And I hate it, you know? <laughs> but I got to thinking it, it could have been way worse, right? The nickname, it could have been dry. <laughs> Juicy's all right. Yeah. And I'm not complaining either. Like, they gave me a career. You know, I'm a full-time stand-up comedian now. I quit my job. Let's go. Yeah. yeah, screw that job, right? Yeah. I worked here. Uh, I was a, a door guy. Yeah. It's my title. They're letting girls be guys now. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I did, I loved working here. And it was a trip before I quit. I was getting recognized. You know, I, I remember this one time, I was taking out the trash and somebody stopped me and they go, whoa, are you juicy? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> and they said, okay, the guy up front told me to tell you that somebody puked in the men's bathroom. <laughs> so I quit and, uh, oh yeah, I forgot I brought this. Uh, this is my new rape whistle. <laughs> Yeah, I think every woman in here should get one. It's very effective. All right, let, picture this. You're walking down a dark alley. Somebody's approaching you, just... <laughs> Rape! <laughs> hear ye, hear ye! <laughs> yeah, it works. Uh, also, I don't know if you could tell, I'm a trumpet player. Uh, this is also a trumpet. Yeah, man, I had, in 2008, I had a full ride scholarship to Northern Arizona University on trumpet playing. <laughs> Your scattered woos are appropriate. <laughs> I dropped out after my first year, uh, cause of drugs. But, <laughs> but yeah, I'm trying to like, <laughs> I'm trying to incorporate it into my set, you know, but I'm, I'm classically trained. Thank you. I feel like it's pretty entertaining, but it, it's not very funny yet. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna put it aside. I don't want someone out there thinking someone's getting assaulted in here. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, man, I played so long, but I remember this assignment we had when I decided to drop out. It was like, read the autobiography of our favorite musician, uh, study the greats to be great, right? I picked Miles Davis. Yeah, he's my favorite trumpet player. And there's a part in his autobiography where he finished this gig, he got off stage, went in the backseat of a taxi cab, started doing a bunch of blow and getting a head from a hooker. So I'm like, I'll do the cocaine, but, <laughs> but I gotta draw the line somewhere. And I, and I did, I drew it right on my glass coffee table. I drew it there. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. I don't do it anymore. Don't get me wrong, I don't. I think it's a disgusting drug. Sorry to bring it up. I know a lot of you are on it right now. Uh, it's gross though. Everybody does it in the bathroom, which is potentially the smelliest room. They're in there just sniffing. <laughs> Pick a different room. Yeah. I'll never forget the day I learned people do cocaine in the bathroom. I, I used to not know it. People did that. And I was, I was in a public restroom. I'll never forget this. Out of nowhere, I hear in the next stall over. <sighs> oh yeah. <laughs> Good shit. <laughs> what a narcissist. <laughs> and then I swear to God, I hear another voice obviously in that same stall. Oh yeah, save some for me. <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah, dip your finger in it. <laughs> Rub it in your gums. <laughs> I thought, I gotta get out of this Chili's. <laughs> that was a long dinner. Yeah. Especially when my mom and sister came out of the bathroom. <laughs> I was like, what? What are you guys doing in there? You barely touched your fajitas. <laughs> no, I don't want to start a family business. <laughs> I feel like I'm not like a lot of uh, comedians in the sense that I, I have a great relationship with my family. I, 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 speaking of which, uh, Father's Day's coming up. Yeah, well, the season's changed, but my jokes don't. <laughs> For this bit, uh, Father's Day's coming up. <laughs> hey, let's give it up to the coolest dad in the room. That's right. You down with G-O-D? Yeah, you know me. Oh, hell, I mean, haven't yet. Yeah. <laughs> Just gonna Tokyo drift this show into some Christian comedy. Who's with me? Can I get an amen? amen. Ew, never mind. That was gross. Uh, let's get a hill Satan to balance it out. Satan. Much stronger with that one. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll be I'll be real with you guys though. I actually I keep telling my parents that I do not believe in God. And every time they say, "Well, we're going to keep praying for you." But between us, I totally do believe in God. I just keep telling them that because of how powerful I'm getting from all the extra prayers. Are you kidding me? I'm going to be on the internet. <laughs> all right. Let's join hand in prayer. Come on. Dear God, uh, please smite those who didn't laugh at my rape joke. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Keep it going for Jesse Jeske Johnson.